Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Um, I've been having fun today playing with the new A Good Day stamps, which are super cute and even better, they go along with the 1 and 3 eighths and the 1 and 1 eighth scallop circle punches which also layer up with our circles so they're a really it's a really nice combination so I've made some cute little cards and um, envelopes and pop, pop them in a packet here um, these are our new narrow note cards and envelopes so those were really fun to make um, but what I thought I'd show you today is this little hexagon box so um, we've got a, the tree on the top and all the spring-like little greetings and images around the edge. So I'm using sheltering tree for um, the stamping and the box itself we're making with the window box thinlet dies. Now these have all sorts of bits and pieces in there but this is the main die that, um, that cuts out the box. I've got some sampley bits in there, but we've also got a big cutter and things in there. But we're going to do all the decoration with stamping and punching today. So all I needed to do was to cut two pieces of those, which I've gone ahead and done. And I've done that in a thick Whisper White to give us a nice strong box. OK, so the first, very first thing I'm going to do is to stamp the tree. And I'm folding that little piece over because I want my tree to come all the way down to the bottom, but I don't particularly want um, the um, trunk of the tree on that lip. So I've just popped that over. And pop a little scrap of grid underneath there. And we will go ahead and stamp the tree. I'm going to use a technique here today as well. So I'm going to ink up my tree with the soft suede and stamp that down and you can see the trunk is just coming a little bit off the bottom there and then these are the leaves of the tree and I'm going to ink these up this is with the um, pear pizzazz which is quite a pale um, colour and the reason I wanted to use pear pizzazz is I'm going to use a technique called thumping and you, leaving the um, pen really loosely in my fingers I'm just tapping the side of it onto the ink and I'm taking a couple of colours here so I've gone for a dark green, medium green and then I'll also take Take this one here, which is our lemon lime twist, so like a yellowy green, and just thumping that over the top. Now, to make sure this is still moist, I'm just going to huff on this with my breath, and that is enough to get that to stamp. And it's like this is a big old stamp, so press down well all over. And there we go. And then we've got a mixed, a bit of mixed colour there on the tree. OK. So that's my top piece. And I'm now going to assemble the box. So I'm going to go ahead first of all and fold all the little tabs. There is a score line along there. Just fold those inwards. And this one here, I'm actually going to remove my two end tabs. Just cut those off completely. Now when I assemble my box, this is going to be the bottom of the box and this is going to be the top. So I'm going to pop a little bit of Tombow glue down the side and we want to line those up. 
like so. And then these score marks also fold. And if I bring this round together, make sure those are all scored and we will just do the ring around. So you can see that the box starting to come. Now this one is going to be the base of the box and I'm folding in the tabs and making sure those tabs are folded in too. And we're just going to put some Tombow glue and make sure I'm on the camera on those tabs. And I'm going to go ahead and close that box up. Pop it down and squeeze those little tabs in. So two of them are going downwards onto the inside of the box and three of them are floating upwards. And those are all glued in and that gives us our nice box. That little side there needs a little adjustment. There we go. And we've got a nice finish on there. And now I can close my box up. I'm just going to fold that fold back and then forwards. And there's our box closed up. Super cute. Okay. So we're now going to decorate the outside of the box and to do this I'm going to do some more stamping. And this time I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus. Now this is a fantastic tool for stamping and really good as well in a class situation for stamping multiple projects. Now this is a funny old shape of cardstock because this was the offcut um, from um, cutting out the bases of the box. So I had some spare. And I'm going to go ahead and place some of these down. Now let's just make sure we've got the right ones. So I've got just for you. We've got a little rain cloud one. We're going to use the, the bunny, we're going to use the tree, let's make sure I've got enough room to punch those out. We're going to use the bird and the deer. And I'm finally going to put on the greeting as well. I'm going to lay all of those down so they will fit. Pop those down. Now actually these are rubber stamps so I don't need my mat. Let's just take that mat out. And that's where they're going. Now we're going to um, colour these in with uh, regular markers. So I'm going to use my um, basic grey ink to ink these up. And then press them down. There we go. That is all beautifully done. And I will go ahead and colour these in. Right, there we are. So we're ready now to punch these out. And I've got some various sizes here. Um, the Just For You, I'm going to actually do in the tiniest one, which is a... Um, 
three quarter inch I was finding it that I was doing it in the inch it was actually quite hard to avoid that little edge bit although the edge bit is pretty for another project but not this one um, for the bird it's an inch um, for the tree you can just squeeze him into an inch the bunny is an inch and the deer is an inch and this one here which is the bring on the sunshine is a one and a quarter inch and for the here's to a good day I'm just going to take my scissors so I can get in there with the punch and I'm punching that out with a classic label there we go now for these um, new scalloped ones and I'm actually just going to go ahead and use the larger of the two scalloped ones on this which is the one and three eighths of an inch there's six of those And then we'll just go ahead and glue these together. Oops. And you'll see that largest one just fits. So that's the one and a quarter, just layers with that just for you a little diddly one okay and we're going to go ahead and the first thing I want to do around here is put a, a piece of ribbon around so I'm just going to wrap that around the box it's about 12 inches 30 centimeters I think on this let me just double check yep it's about 12 inches so what I'll do is just to hold it in place, I'll put a little bit of snail on the front and the back. That will be enough just to hold that ribbon in as we go around. A little overlap here, so I'll just trim that neatly. And then we will hide all of those pieces with the, the greetings. And I'm going to take some dimensionals and just pop those up. Top and bottom all the way around. There we go, our little bunny is the last one. And they are just so cute, little springtime images with the springtime time tree and the here's to a good day going on the front um, and you could all either use the mini dimensionals would fit fine onto this or a little edge piece of the regular dimensionals will fit, fit, uh, fit just fine and I'm going to pop that across the tree trunk here's to a good day so there you go, that's my little project for you today featuring sheltering tree and a good day. Thanks very much for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room. If you'd like any of the goodies that I featured today, have a little look below and you can see some links to my online store. Look forward to welcoming you back again soon. La, la, la.